Welcome to the prayer channel. Are you on track to fulfilling your God-given dreams, the deepest desires of your heart? Or have your dreams been tossed aside, trampled on or even forgotten about? The good news is our God is a God of restoration. He can help you recover all your dreams, your lost destiny and even the visions that he's already given you. Today we're reading the story of Moses who had a dream that was dormant for around 40 years before the Lord changed everything for him. We're reading Acts 7 verses 20 to 36. It reads, At that time Moses was born and he was no ordinary child. For three months he was cared for by his family. When he was placed outside, Pharaoh's daughter took him and brought him up as her own son. Moses was educated in all the wisdom of the Egyptians and was powerful in speech and action. When Moses was 40 years old, he decided to visit his own people, the Israelites. He saw one of them being mistreated by an Egyptian, so he went to his defense and avenged him by killing the Egyptian. Moses thought that his own people would realize that God was using him to rescue them, but they did not. The next day, Moses came upon two Israelites who were fighting. He tried to reconcile them by saying, Men, you are brothers. Why do you want to hurt each other? But the man who was mistreating the other pushed Moses aside and said, Who made you ruler and judge over us? Are you thinking of killing me as you killed the Egyptian yesterday? When Moses heard this, he fled to Midian, where he settled as a foreigner and had two sons. After 40 years had passed, an angel appeared to Moses in the flames of a burning bush in the desert near Mount Sinai. When he saw this, he was amazed at the sight. As he went over to get a closer look, he heard the Lord say, I am the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Moses trembled with fear and did not dare look. Then the Lord said to him, take off your sandals for the place where you are standing is holy ground. I have indeed seen the oppression of my people in Egypt. I have heard their groaning and have come down to set them free. Now come, I will send you back to Egypt. This is the same Moses they had rejected with the words, who made you ruler and judge? He was sent to be their ruler and deliverer by God himself through the angel who appeared to him in the bush. He led them out of Egypt and performed wonders and signs in Egypt at the Red Sea and for 40 years in the wilderness. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you are a God of restoration. Lord, you're a God who restores our dreams. Lord, Moses had a dream, Lord, for the Israelites that they would be free. But it looked for a while, Lord, that he wasn't going to be able to be the one that would help them to achieve what they wanted to to achieve. In fact, Lord, he became a fugitive after he killed the Egyptian and he ran and he was lost for over 40 years. Lord, you moved on in different areas of his life. Lord, he had a family and he met his wife and he did other things, Lord. But ultimately that dream looked like it wasn't gonna come to pass, that he wasn't gonna be the one that was gonna lead the Israelites out of Egypt. But Lord, just as you are, and just as you miraculously work, Lord, 40 years later, 40 years of being a fugitive, Lord, he was given another chance, Lord. And it was just so unexpected how you came, Lord. It was so unexpected how you came. Lord, you just appeared to him in the flames of a burning bush in the desert near Mount Sinai, Lord God. And you gave him another chance. Lord, you resurrected and recovered his dream and you helped him, Lord, to lead the Israelites out of Egypt, Lord. And Lord, we just thank you that you are reminding us, Lord, for every dormant dream that looks like it is over, that looks like it is no way it could happen in the natural. Thank you that today you're saying to us it can happen. You are the God of dreams, Lord. You are the God of visions, Lord. You are the God of destinies, Lord. You have placed us in our mother's womb, Lord. And it says, before we were in our mother's womb, Lord, you knew us and you had a plan and a purpose for our lives, Lord. And we just thank you for that. We thank you that each of us here 
is not by accident, Lord. You've purposed us. You've put us here for a reason. And we all have a specific destiny to fulfill. Lord, we thank you that you are helping us to understand this. And Lord, where the enemy may have lied and just said that our lives are arbitrary and that everything is just random, Lord, we thank you that you are not a God of random, Lord, but instead you are God of the specific. You are a God of ordered steps, of discipline, of organization, of placement, Lord. Lord, you place us strategically in places and Lord sometimes it doesn't seem like it makes sense to us so Lord where we are questioning you or we are not quite sure why we are where we are thank you that you're settling our hearts today Lord you're settling our hearts today and you're helping us to remember that just like Moses Lord there can be times of dormancy there can be times of stagnancy even but it doesn't mean that the dream is not going to be fulfilled Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you've called each of us to be the head and not the tail. You've called us to be those who are salty and those who are put on the top of a hill, Lord, to shine and to spread the light of your gospel. Thank you, Lord, that where dreams have not come to pass, Lord, that you are the one that can make them come to pass. Lord, we just want to retrace our steps back to you today, Lord, where we've wandered off, Lord, from the purpose that you put us on and actually you know, in a way, just completely destroyed what you had going for us, Lord. We, we walked away or we gave up or we got intimidated or we got discouraged, Lord, and we just turned in the opposite direction. Lord, thank you that today you are reminding us again, Lord, that you are calling us, Lord, and we can retrace our steps back to you, Lord, where we veered off, wandered off of our own accord, Lord, we can retrace our steps back to you. Lord, that's what we choose to do today. We thank you, Lord, that you're a God that recovers all loss. You recover our losses, Lord God. And Lord, we pray for those dreams, those visions, those plans, Lord, that we once had, maybe when we were much younger, when things weren't so difficult. Lord, the things that we wanted to do and we had them and we were so excited about them, but life got in the way, Lord, and some of those dreams were stepped on crushed, were decimated. Lord, thank you that you're picking up all the pieces of those dreams, Lord God, and you're putting them back together again. You're putting all those dreams back together again. And Lord, even for the forgotten dreams that we thought don't even exist anymore or that, you know, they've, they've gone into a distant place in our memory. Lord, bring them forward, bring them forward. Help us to remember again what we're about, who we are. Lord, wake us up, wake up our spirits, Lord. Lord, where we're asleep, Lord, shake us up and help us to remember what you have birthed in us. Lord, we come against every sense of generational curse, Lord God, like that things always seem to happen in cycles and, you know, people only get this place or that place in our family or, you know, we don't get this or we don't do this. Lord, we just come against every lie of the enemy and we thank you, Lord, that although you say, Lord, that the, the, that there can be curses down to the second and third generation, Lord God. We thank you, Lord, that you're also the God that destroys all curses, Lord God. You have the capacity to destroy all curses. And so, Lord, we just plead the blood of Jesus over our lives. And Lord, where there may be anything that is an operation that is not from you, we pray, Lord, that you would break every chain of the enemy. You would destroy his works. And Lord, you would free us from any sense of ancestral or generational cursing. Lord, instead, Lord, you would bless us, Lord, with your blessing, Lord, and you would give us the new wave to say, yes, it's okay. You're going to go forward now. It's now your time. It's now time. This season, this moment is now time to start again, to push the past to the back and to let the past be the past and to look forward to your new future. Thank you, Lord, that you are restoring, you're bringing about completion, you're bringing about restoration. Lord, you are reigniting those dreams, those visions and those plans. Lord, help us to grasp them today. Help us to run with them and to enjoy them. Lord, we bless you, Lord God. We thank you. And we thank you, Lord, that you're blessing us by reminding us of who we are in you. Lord, we look to the future and we look to what you can do in our future. In Jesus' name we've prayed.